Gentles and Lady Man, welcome back to episode two of my Ocean Survival Let's Play. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, last episode, we just kind of got our footing. We got some crops planted, kind of did a little bit of, tiny bit of resource gathering. And in between that time, I've done a little bit of work. I've gotten some more beds. I looted very few. I think like two ships? Yeah, I looted like two ships. Well, between... Bleh, words. Between the last episode and now. And also, I made something very cool that I want to show you. So, this next thing I'm going to show you is a part of the small ships mod. And as you can see, right down there, that is a fully functional working ship. It's really cool. Let, let, let me show you. Oop. Oop. Okay, let's not die. That would be that would be a horrible way to start off this episode. All right. So I was having some trouble actually figuring out how to get this to move, because you you can't place this in water natively. It's impossible. The only way to do it is to place it on blocks and then presumably break the blocks under it. Maybe there's a way to like use a lead to move it, but I haven't figured that out. But if you watch this. Oh, I think I just killed this. I think I just killed a squid with my boat. My bad. It does damage things. So as you can see, you can, you can zoom out. You can zoom in. Just zoom out a bit. And first off, you can do like the little turning with the oars. And as you can see on top, there is a cell. If you press R, it opens the cell. And then pressing W opens the cell more, which increases the speed. And then pressing the S key lowers or i guess raises the sail yeah it raises the sail to slow the boat down and then pressing r again closes up the sail so this thing apparently can travel up to i think this one specifically can travel up to 40 or 45 blocks a second which is pretty good so this episode i kind of just want to like do a bit of exploring and see if i can find some more ships and maybe some actual like underwater structures i did find like between the last time I did a video and the time I was playing without recording, I found two water breathing potions. I used one, but we do have another one somewhere. So I can use that to do some other underwater exploration. To like figure out how to get back up. This is like the most scuffed thing ever. Like I said before, I'm going to get a freaking water elevator. So I can get up and down way easier. But at the moment, I just have to do like a bit of parkour, which kind of sucks. So yeah, before we do any exploring, I just got to get a bit of stuff made to make sure I don't starve to death. And I guess maybe make some more armor if I have the materials for it. I know, yeah, I made a bit of iron. Uh, okay, there's some in here. Hmm... What should I make? I feel like I should definitely save three for a pickaxe. And then... Oh, I have more here. Okay, we might be able to make full iron. Let's see. Ooh, not a helmet though, but I'm going to do leggings because you get more armor value off of that. And these are about to break, so I'm fine with putting these in storage. Oh yeah, also, there's a C message. Um mod you can find messages in bottles and this is the one i got we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty i believe my friend got one too i think it was like a meme or something i, I don't exactly remember and then i found this book breaking three backstabbing one protection three and then this is the one i found last episode so i want to try and put this on my knife here because i got a damaged anvil from one of the structures i looted i want to see if i can actually Okay, yeah, you get the Unbreaking 3 and the Backstabbing 1. Now, I don't know exactly what this does. I'm assuming it's in the name, obviously. Like, if you hit somebody from behind, it'll do more damage, I'm assuming. So, we'll have to test that out. And then, I guess before we leave, definitely get more food. Alright, how do I get down this way? Alright. I was afraid I'm, I'm gonna, like, land on, like, one of these random blocks over here. Alright. Your inner boat. I killed another jellyfish. How unfortunate for him. So let's open up the sail. 
And we're going to use our mini map to try to go to a direction I haven't been yet. Because I did like a very minimal amount of exploring this way. So this is where I am now. We're going to do... Ooh, there's a thing here. I want to see what that is. So we're going to create a waypoint. Uh, thingy mabob. All right. And then that's going to be on my map. And now I can just go straight to it. It's like literally on my screen. This is like the best mod for for this mod pack, honestly. The Zero's world map and then Zero's mini map. It allows you to do some exploring without getting completely, utterly lost. And it's especially good if you're going to have other people on it. All right. Put the sail down. Now, yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. Good. Oh, you know what I did forget? I forgot the water breathing potion, but we should be fine. You know what I'm going to do? Let's see if I can actually, like, place blocks on this thing. Okay, I can't do that. Guess I'm going to have to come over here and do it. Sorry, pillagers. I'm using your space. I don't think I looted this specific, um, ship yet. So we're just going to make a ton of doors just so we have them. I also forgot my water bucket, too. I'm, like, actually coming so unprepared. What kind of fish are you? You drop? Oh, this is the glow slime. All right, before we die... Ooh, that is loud. Always very loud. <laughs> Ocean quad. Okay. Fish. That is a rat fish. All right, so I'm going to try and get behind this guy. See, it's like impossible to actually like get behind them because of their pathfinding. It's kind of unfortunate. All right, you're dead. Okay, now we have these doors, and it's gonna make it really easy to explore this place. Come on. Why can't I place a door? Okay, uh, might be something with the server, but I can't place doors down there specifically. What are you holding? Fishing rod? Can you drop that? I could always use an extra one. Come on, a little closer. Why is like one hit? Nah, he didn't drop it. Just rotten flesh. Yeah, so for some reason, I can't place my door down here. So we're going to have to like do this from above, which we can. Good. This is kind of like a, a bit of a spooky area because I'm kind of relying on these doors for oxygen. There's a barrel down there, so we're going to get down here. Can't place the door. Good. Ooh, a diamond. Okay. That is good. Another random loot. I'll even take the barrel, too. <laughs> That's what I've been doing, just, like, breaking any chest with loot I find in it, and then taking it and leaving. Speaking of leaving, I don't think there's really anything else down there, so... Ooh, and then we got a trident thrower, so... I will gladly... Oh, yeah, I've seen this. Okay, this is actually something i seen earlier when I was in free camp. This has... Wait, oh, okay, I'm going all over the place. Let me go into free camp quick. This has one of these guys here. I don't know what he does, but he definitely looks like he's probably going to have buffed health and strength, most likely. Oh, and there's a lot of them. Okay, good thing I'm actually, like, checking this out first. What is this guy? He's got, like, a glass block on his head. Okay, so I think that then these spawners are probably spawning them. Ooh, I actually don't think we're geared up for this. I mean, I can definitely try to, like, see what I can do. But it's this is definitely not an ideal... This is not an ideal situation here. Um, I'm going to try to get the boat, boat as close as I possibly can so I don't freaking get caught with no escape. I also don't want to get, like, shot at as soon as I get close. I mean, they, they don't even seem to have... Oh, no, they do have bows and arrows. Okay. We have, an, we have an entrance. That's good. Now we just have to figure out how to not die. Let's just test and see... Okay, you can't even aim. I just want to see how powerful the bows and arrows are. Can one of you shoot me? So I can see if I actually want to be here. Okay, that's not too bad. I've been taking all the TNT, too. Oh, we got a backstab on him, I guess. 
Ooh, yeah, they're very strong in terms of health. Just dropped a torch. Okay. See, I would kill to have a bow and arrow. We're gonna try something else. I need, I need flint and steel, though. Which I don't have. If I can find some flint and steel, that would be nice. Okay. Okay. I forgot my shield, too. I'm actually, like, very unprepared. Okay. You know, it actually seems like they're all killing each other down there, which is fine by me. Jeez. These guys do a different, decent bit of damage. I want to get in the bottom of the ship, though, because the bottoms of the ships have, like, a mining room full of ores. Take one of these. That'll be helpful when we get villagers. And already, inventory is completely cluttered. Kind of expected that to happen, but not this quick. Oh, they're actually just going to town on each other. I could just let them finish each other off and then go grab the loot after. Okay. Like how they have like the invisible item frames to lay the stuff on the ground. That's pretty cool. I guess I'll actually grab them. Be good for decoration. Yeah, this is like one of the few unfortunate things with this mod. I didn't add... With this mod pack, I guess. I didn't add sophisticated backpacks or any sort of like storage mod. So we could do that eventually. Oh yeah, actually, you blow up. That would be nice. Okay, go ahead. Do your thing. You're not close enough. Maybe I could get a music disc, actually. <gasps> Ooh! Uh-oh. Nearly just died there. That was not good. Am I gonna die? Hope not. That would suck. Let me go out here and heal. Let's be smart. Let's see our inventory situation, too. Um... I don't need you. I don't need you. I probably don't need this cookie. Actually, I can just eat it. <laughs> eat, just eat your inventory if you don't have the space. It's the smartest decision. Oh, okay. I'm gonna outplay this guy. Oh, he got there. Okay, well, now you're dead. Fortunate for you. Just break this again. And get rid of the flesh. Um, ooh, melon seeds. I don't know if we have those at home, so I'm definitely gonna take those. Get an axe crit on you. I can. I can actually, like, jump. These things are ridiculously full of mobs. It's actually stupid. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. You have to cover. Um, I'm actually gonna eat this. I think that's gonna help me actually rush through the rest of the ship. Come on. Please die, sir. Thank you. Take all this TNT. We can use this for mining later, too. That'll be nice. And good thing none of these skeletons have flame bows, because if they shot one of these TNTs, the entire ship would go down. Oh, pillagers. Hello. I hear a baby zombie. That is not good. That baby zombie... Okay, no, he just burned to death. Good. That was the guy with the particle effects. Do they all have particle effects or just the one? Can't exactly remember. Get away, mister. I don't want anything to do with you. Load this with TNT. Now, will a fishing rod work? It does. Oh my gosh, I didn't think that would actually work. Okay, that did some... Is that a shield? Oh, it's just a banner. I was going to say, if that was a shield, that would have been nice. All right, well, that actually went sort of according to plan. I mean, I still can't see anything. And I think I blew up some of the ores down there, unfortunately, but... It's a good way to be able to in infiltrate... Chest. Hello. Golden apple effects are wearing off, so that's not great. Uh-oh. 
I'm in a predicament. I might have to just blow this into kingdom come. Definitely get rid of this. Oh, it's a baby zombie? Of all the zombie types, you could have spawned a baby zombie, really? Not about to die here, but just in case, I'm gonna set my spawn. Because that would really suck if I just died right here and then had to swim all the way back. Uh oh. Which actually might be the case, because I'm acting kind of stupid. Alright. This might be a dumb idea, but we're gonna blow them to kingdom come. And not drop my pickaxe, preferably. That is that is good to know that fishing rods can activate target blocks. I didn't know that until just now. Okay. I think I might have blown up a little bit too much. I did not mean to blow all of that up. Oh, that is ridiculous. You know what would be nice is this arrow not in my face. I'm actually gonna relock really quick. <laughs> Because the arrow in my face is just kind of ridiculous. Alright. Damage control. Looks like you're the only guy left. He drops jack-o'-lantern, so those will be nice lights. Um, unfortunately, I kind of destroyed, like, all of the ores. Wait, should I keep the mushrooms? Those are probably rare. Um, get rid of this ratfish, I guess. Alright, where did my gold go? Oh, it just disappeared. Where'd it go? Just floated away? Oh, whatever. We'll, we'll get the iron instead. That's probably more helpful than gold. This music is kind of nice. I don't know if this is coming from the actual mod itself. Like, one of the mods I've installed or just the game? It is nice. Alright, so one ship has been successfully looted. We looted a quad. Oh yeah, and I, this is another feature of the ship that's really nice. Is you can just throw all of the things that you looted right into here. And you don't even have to worry about storage really. Once I bring this all home, I could just go back and forth for a bit. And get everything back up. That is so nice, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, so this ship is called a galley. Galley. There's like five or six different types. This is like one of the biggest ones, so I picked this. Alright, let's see. This is a decent sized island here. I don't think I've been here. I'm also just now realizing that this is native Minecraft music. Is that a sheep? That's oh, a spider's nest. This isn't my home island, is it? Does this just happen to be another place with the spider's nest? Hmm. Definitely not my home island. <laughs> Obviously not. We're in the opposite direction. I think I might want to take a, round, a look around this. So yeah, um, one thing I have noticed is that pretty much every single island generates as this mountainous terrain, which makes it extremely difficult to actually scale them. This one's really big though. I, I actually want to, I want to check this one out. Ooh, I left the sail on, that's my bad. I don't know if there's really like anything up here of value, because this, this mod does make it so structures are more common, but I haven't really, like, I've only seen, like, a village on my fly arounds, and that's about it. Like, I haven't seen... I've seen a village and an igloo, actually, and that was it. I haven't seen any, like, ter many terolith structures, or biomes of plenty structures, sorry. Forgetting, I have biomes of plenty, not terolith. Terolith probably wouldn't work, right? Because the data pack we're using affects world generation. So does Terolith, so... I, I couldn't imagine them being compatible, but I don't know, maybe. And it looks like we finally made it up. You know, I'm probably going to come back here at some point, so let's definitely make a waypoint. Oh yeah, look at how big this thing is. Do the waypoint right here. I'm just going to name this... Uh, Big Island number two. The odd choice of name, but whatever. Ooh, okay, I gotta patch that up. Alright, perfect. 
Now let's see if this island actually has anything in store. Because this one's a pretty big one from what I'm seeing. And it looks like it's not covered in like leaves and stuff like the last one. So this might be a good place to set up. It's a horse. It'd probably be nice to have. Oh, there's tons of horses here. I mean, they're kind of like a cool novelty animal to have. But I couldn't imagine them being too useful in this mod pack. Because, you know, everything's water. I really want to get this backstabbing thing to work, but mobs always... Maybe if I run... No, you can't even, like, run through them. So this is, like, probably really only helpful on players or animals. Okay, so it takes... I know I'm, I'm killing horses. That's probably not a great choice, but... I just kind of wanted to see how fast you would die. And then I remembered... Horses have very health, so... It, I can't I can't compare and contrast. So that was, that was completely useless, me killing that horse there. Oh, wow. Okay. That was like a voice crack. Um, sheep and pigs. Pigs I haven't even seen yet on this mod pack. I was kind of starting to worry that I wouldn't be able to find any. So this island seems to have almost every type of mob, which is nice. I've also noticed that the most common biomes of plenty things to spawn are prairies, orchards, and the jade cliffs. I don't know if that's the only thing that can spawn because everything seems to be up like above Y level 90. Like, there's not really any sea level islands. I have seen, like, a few very small stony shores. But that's about it. Oh, you're just gonna die for me. Okay. This island looks pretty nice. What biome is this? Is this still a prairie? It is. Okay. You know, I actually might move over here. This is a pretty big island. Compared to, like, the rest of the stuff I've seen so far. And let's check our map quick. I want to see how far away this is from our house. Honestly, this this isn't that much of a trek. And yeah, look, compared to all the other islands I've found so far, this definitely is the biggest one. There's a few ships around it. I think this ship I didn't explore, but this one I did. Yeah, this is this is a nice island. I can see myself settling on this one because this one's way higher up for one. And two, a lot of the land is cut up, like, by these trees and stuff. The only, like, somewhat flat area is, like, uh, I think over here. But most of it is very, like, mountainous, rough terrain. This is very flat, smoothed out. This might be where I move everything. That could be a, that could be a goal for this episode. It's just trying to, like, move all of my supplies over to this new island. And then maybe start and work on a house. We'll see, we'll see what the time budget is like. I guess for now, I will get some wood, get some chests down, unload the galley, and find a spot to actually store everything. One thing I don't want to do is leave creeper holes everywhere, though. That's not very cleanly. Doesn't look very nice. To make... Eight chests. I think that should be enough to hold all of the items I own. So I can actually move over to the island. So first we're going to unload the galley. And then I will head over to the other island. And start grabbing all my things. And then maybe we'll get work working on a house. Oh yeah, this is one of the things I seen earlier. You can make a glow stick. And I think it's an underwater... I believe it's an underwater torch, which is kind of cool. I do want to test that theory though. Yeah, let's test that out. I wanna, I wanna see if this is like actually like an underwater torch. That would be sick. Oh, it is. Oh, that is so cool. And they're like relatively inexpensive. But it looks like they actually create. Yeah, they only create light under the water. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that there. That is, that is a cool decoration. All right, so our inventory is unloaded. So is the galley. I do believe it's gonna take two trips. Which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. All right, that's home over there. So we're gonna let down our sail and sail our way home.
Grabbing my things. Grabbing my things. I think the best way to start with this is breaking some barrels like it's Donkey Kong or something. Ooh, this must be all of my friend's stuff, so I'm gonna leave this here. Oh yeah, this is the C message he got. I can actually read it off. You were the fish girl. <laughs> this is so weird. Alright, this is gonna be the lar- yeah, this is like a big majority of our items. Put some of these in here. Anything we can't grab. I'm gonna sleep first, actually, so I don't die to some mobs or get blown up or something. Stupid. Yeah, I think I think the best way to relocate our chickens is grabbing as many eggs as we can. And then just hoping when we throw them we get two. And then I mean even if we just get one, we can use the eggs to get more. I just have to like not get unlucky. Alright. First load of things. We might be able to fit most of our most of our stuff. I believe we'll be able to fit most of it. Oh yeah, the little tiny chest spawn. That's so cool. We can't actually like open them up, but that is cool that they're like there, so you can actually see that you're storing stuff. I was wondering how like in the um, not the concept art, but like the screenshots they had for the mod, they had like chests. You could also attach cannons to these, so that that would be interesting. We'll probably do something like that at some point. All right, the worst that I have feared, I believe, has come to pass. I think we're going to have to take two trips to get all of our stuff over to the next island. There's just too much of it. I'm like bursting with not wealth but clutter. And I don't want to throw anything out because, like, especially like the land-based stuff is so rare that like I might go to another island and not not be able to find like a specific thing for a while. Like. I don't know if sugarcane exists. I because all the islands generate so high that there's not enough shore for there to be any sugarcane. So that's gonna be a challenge. I'll probably have to like look at some of the loot tables and some of the mods and see if sugarcane can spawn in the loot chest. I, I hope that's the case because we can't. We're not gonna be able to get sugarcane. I'm just gonna grab as much as I can. All right. Yeah, one more load and I should be able to take everything. That's good. I will tell you, I am absolutely exhausted today. I did my leg workout today and I only got three sets in of squats. I believe I did... What did I do? 150, yeah, 155 pounds for eight reps, three sets. I thought like, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do more in this workout today. I'm gonna like do my like my uh freaking what are they called? Leg extensions. I was gonna do leg extensions if I like had the energy for it, and I just don't. I, I did not have the energy today. I'm absolutely exhausted. And then I gotta go back to work in another like two hours from now, so that kinda sucks, but whatever. <laughs> Here's a mess we made with this ship. Jeez, that looks awful. Maybe we'll just, like, light it on fire at some point. It's a good source of dispensers or droppers, whatever they are, if we ever need them. All right, we got to circle back to the other side of the island, because I believe that's where... Our, yeah, that's where our stairs are. I can't wait to go to the nether and get some soul sand. That That is, that is going to be one of the most helpful things that we can get in this series is soul sand. And sugarcane. I, I want sugarcane. I haven't seen any. Kind of like looking around the coast of this island. That's that's another crab. Do you see that? A little tiny white thing in the corner of my eye. Um, wait, where's our... Was it all the way on that side? I guess we could get to look at this ship passing by. Kind of the same thing as the other one. That's kind of weird that the first one that I went to didn't have those guys. There was They just weren't there. But I don't know if that was like a bug or something. Kind of odd. All right, yeah. Here's our here's our stairs. Home sweet new home. Whew, I forgot how much stuff is in here. This this is gonna take a few trips by itself. I'm also looking forward to definitely not this episode, but maybe the next one or the following. I could get some scuba gear. I added, like I said, that hybrid aquatic mod, and they apparently have scuba gear. So I'm gonna have to go through some of the crafting recipes. 
and see how that's made. I'm assuming it's fairly expensive, and it probably requires, like, glass or something, because I haven't even seen anything show up in the recipe book yet. So I'm assuming it requires glass. Maybe, like, iron, glass, some other stuff. I, I don't know. Probably fairly expensive if I haven't seen it yet. All right, perfect. Time to set sail for the 15th time. Ooh, what kind of fish are you? Drop anything? I didn't drop anything. I haven't seen any, like, actual dangerous fish that attack me yet. I'm kind of curious, like, will this guy? No, that, that guy's not gonna do anything. What, what are you? You're a rockfish. Okay. I'm drowning. Yeah, I wanna... Oh. Ooh, somebody... Something killed some fish. These are dropping? That's curious. Maybe they just, like, happen to hunt each other. Some of, like, the bigger fish price hunt the smaller fish. I mean, I know here, like, whale sounds and stuff, but... I don't think that actually means there's a well. I don't think there's wells in any of these mods. We did run into some basking sharks, uh, me and my friend when we were playing, in between the last episode, and I thought they were gonna kill me. They were completely passive, and let us punch them. But we haven't run into any actual dangerous fish yet. Unfortunately, because I kind of want to, like, get in a fish fight. Surprisingly, the most dangerous thing so far has been skeletons. Okay, uh... Alright. That is all of the essentials gathered from our first home. Guess it is already time to say goodbye to my first home. I don't know if I'm gonna miss this place very much. I mean, it, it was nice. It was nice. It was a nice little starting base. It was very cramped, and I couldn't really fit any any work workstations or anything. So, I think moving up and building a bigger house and an actual like leveled out island will be nice. I like how this guy's just like slowly making his way over here. It's kind of funny. I kill reach the island eventually, but not when I'm gonna be here. That's an adventure you're gonna have on your own, pillager. I'm moving out. Wait, let's run him over with a boat. Oh yeah, he's actually taking damage. That's kind of funny. Alright, let's try to like actually like kill him. Come on. Oh. Oh, oh we actually got him with the boat. He couldn't hear the death sounds. I don't know why. Probably because I was like an F4. Alright, we are officially moved in to a new island. After one episode. Let me set my spawn. That is something I definitely should do. Probably work on getting some chickens spawned quick. I want to see if I actually have, like, enough eggs for them. See if I actually have to, like, go back to my island or not. I love the view of the boat right there. It's like so majestic looking. It looks so cool. All right, space has been cleared out. Now we have a spot for chickens. I don't know if we have enough eggs. We have. Oh, wait, I had them. I think I put them away by accident. Let's see, four here. Down in here. Down in here. Four more in here. Alright, we have eight eggs. If I spawn nothing, I feel like that's actually horrible luck. Nothing. Eight eggs and not a single chicken. Are you joking? Alright, let me look around this island for a bit and see if I can actually, like, find some animals. Oh, I'm so greedy. We're gonna take, like, every sheep on this island put them in our pen forever. This guy's being incredibly stubborn. Come on. Just keep falling. I don't... The pig's just coming along, along for the ride, I guess. Right in here. One by one. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. Perfect. 
Perfect. Plus XP too. Two babies. So we already have one, two, three, four, five, six sheep. Right off the bat. Nice. All right. Well, that's going to conclude it for this episode. I know I didn't really do a lot in this one. I kind of just found a new island and then got some animals and looted a ship. But it's kind of all I have time for today. I do got to go to work. But we'll get another episode out very soon. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.